the forest moon of Endor. Although the weapon systems on this Death Star are not What happened to Admiral Akbar's face? Quiet, quiet, don't, 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 don't let him hear you. Yeah, he took fixed antibiotics. It is protected by an energy cool. which is generated from the nearby forest moon of Endor. <laughs> This is Praxis Prepper. I have a story that I want to share with you, and there's nothing really visual to go with it, um, but I think it's important, and I think uh, people might uh, might gain something from it that uh, you know isn't readily available, all, you know, all over the place. So uh, I'm going to share this with you, and you can see if it's of any use to you. This has been the worst season for ticks I've ever lived through by a factor of ten, uh, you know, roughly speaking. I don't know. It's been very, very bad. I've never seen anything close to it. Uh, at the beginning of the tick season, me and my boy took a hike, and in just a 20-minute period, we picked up 60 ticks. Not 16, 60. Six zero ticks. And that was avoiding all the ticks. I know how to avoid ticks, and you could see them on the tips of all the grasses and, and everything. Kind of go around the obvious ones, but even doing that, 60 ticks on us that we picked off. Uh, but, you know, you deal with it, do the best you can, and, uh, you know, taking a few countermeasures, including I bought a Roomba vacuum, one of those automated vacuums to just patrol the house daily and suck up the ticks that were getting into the house, because there were ticks that were in the house. Uh, but invariably, I ended up missing one on myself. Uh, it had bitten into my lower back, and I didn't even notice it until I was, uh, you know, I got out of the shower, I was getting dressed, I'm putting my shorts on or something, and it sticks to the, the back of my hand. Now when I look at it, it just looks like a flax seed. I'm wondering, why is there a flax seed on my back? Uh, but I'm in uh, you know, high uh, alert mode for ticks, so everything's potentially a tick. Everything's a tick. Uh, so I, I look at it, I have to take it out into the sun and really look to see the tiny, tiny spindly legs. It was an, a tick nymph. It was, I believe it was a black-footed tick. That's also called a deer tick, and those are the ticks that occasionally, about 30% of the time, carry Lyme disease. Uh, I have a lot of experience with Lyme disease in my family. I've known a lot of people who have, uh, you know, contracted it. I've brought a lot of people to doctor's appointments, because of it, it's, it's something that's happening in the area and it's hitting a lot of people. Uh, because of that experience, my first reaction on finding the tick was not to run out to the doctor. Uh, in all my prior experiences, uh, the doctors didn't seem to know any that much, well, anything really more than I knew myself. Uh, the tests that they could prescribe were very interpretive. Uh, I, I know that the last time I was in for someone, uh, you know, working with Lyme disease, they got four tests done, uh, two of the cheap tests and two of the really expensive tests. And all of them were very vague and ambiguous. I, I believe that the cheap tests, one said that uh, she had Lyme disease, the other said that she didn't. And the two um, expensive tests said, yes, you definitely probably maybe do. And then the other one was, yes, you probably maybe don't. So uh, I didn't feel like there was a reason for me to go running out to the doctor. Uh, I figured I'm, you're on your own here, and you got to figure out what to do. Uh, so what I ended up doing was uh, self-treating. Now, uh, we all have seen these, these videos online and advertisements for fish antibiotics, and I've seen those too, and I've, sta I've st stacked some of them in my pantry, you know, under cool conditions and everything, trying to maximize their shelf life. And the, the antibiotic that is used for Lyme disease is doxycycline, and I know that because I've been... <laughs> To so many doctor's appointments, and that's what they always prescribe. Uh, you could say, well, hey, Praxis Prepper, did you get the bullseye mark? No, I didn't, but people don't always get that. You could say, well, did you get any symptoms? Well, no, I didn't, but people don't always get symptoms right away. Uh, and that's why I felt like I just had to kind of deal with it, and there wasn't going to be any certainty to it, but I decided to just treat myself prophylactically, uh, just as a countermeasure, just in case the tick had Lyme disease. Now, I did a little bit of research uh, about, um, you know, what the dosage should be on doxycycline, because like I said, I, I remember what the, the, the medication was, but it, it was a while ago, I forget what the dosage, what dosage was. And uh, in the research I did just recently, there's a whole range of uh, recommended doses, anywhere from three days of doxycycline to four weeks 
of doxycycline. And I know from family members uh, that have contracted it and found out later that even four weeks for them didn't seem to do the trick and they were still experiencing symptoms. So again, you're on your own, <laughs> figure it out. Uh, what I ended up doing, because the, I had found the tick right after it had uh, detached and I wasn't experiencing any symptoms, uh, I opted for two weeks, uh, which was probably overkill, uh, considering that I might have just contracted it uh, and it hadn't been in my system very long, but if you're going to do something, do it all the way. Um, so I decided two weeks. So uh, I took the fish antibiotics for two weeks, and the recommended dosage was 100 milligrams taken twice a day. Uh, they say 100 milligrams BID. I don't know what BID stands for, but that means twice a day. So in the morning, I took 100 milligrams, and in the evening, I took 100 milligrams. Now, in the, the fish antibiotic packets, they came in 100 milligram packets, which is very convenient. Uh, again, there's a lot of talk that a lot of these fish antibiotics may just be rebranded, the exact same stuff that people get. You know, I, I don't know for sure on that, but I want to share with you what my experience was of taking it. First off, I'm still here. It didn't kill me. Uh, and I didn't feel like I had any negative side effects from it uh, beyond what you would normally uh, notice taking an antibiotic. The only side effect that I had was, as you know, when you take an antibiotic, it indiscriminately just kind of wipes out all your ecology in your body. And that has a, it takes a toll on your gastrointestinal system, and I was a little gassy for the first few days. So I got a sense that it was doing something, it was working, um, but it didn't, didn't harm me beyond that. I survived it, and, uh, and here I am. Now, can I come to a conclusion and say that this doxycycline that is you know, supposed to be for fish, cured my Lyme disease? Well, no, because A, I don't know that I had Lyme disease. B, even if I did have Lyme disease, the symptoms may just still not have manifested themselves because Lyme disease is weird that way. Uh, and well, Maybe it's only an A and a B there. But anyway, the point is, I can't make any you know, blanket statements about how effective it was against Lyme disease because Lyme disease is such a weird thing. But what I can say for certain is that I took the antibiotic the, the side effects that you would associate with an antibiotic were there. I was, I was experiencing sort of the changes of it wiping out other things in my gastrointestinal tract. And I survived it. It was fine. Now, I know a lot of people talk about stacking this stuff. You know, you should have this on hand. It's another thing to actually kind of trust your health to it. And I did that. And at the moment, I feel, feel fine. Uh, so you can you know, comment negatively in the, in the comments below that, you know, you should have gone to a doctor, you should do this, you should do that. I've got a lot of experience with this. The doctors were just as much of a crapshoot <laughs> as taking fish antibiotics in my quite unfortunately extensive experience with the disease. But take it for what you will. A human being took fish antibiotics, they experienced symptoms that suggested that it was doing what it was supposed to do, and they survived it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.